cost of owning a home in southern Arizona keeps going up. Now state lawmakers say the governor can help change that with the stroke of her pen. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Today, they're making a bipartisan push for Governor Katie Hobbs to sign the Arizona Starter Homes Act. It got final approval from the state legislature just days ago. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon is live in the studio now. Andre, Andres, so what exactly does this bill do? Thank you, Valerie. Well, the bill, here is what it does. The Arizona Starters Home Act, that's the official name, also known as HB 2570, is aimed to lower the cost of owning a home, but it has an interesting approach. Rather than putting limits on what a house can sell for, the bill would eliminate certain requirements that many homeowners today have to face. HB 2570 brings back the opportunity to become a home homeowner, to attain the, the foundation of the American dream. Affordable home ownership was the common theme this morning, but lawmakers are approaching it in a unique way. HOAs, private roads and streets, and even rules on your home's aesthetics. These are some of the guidelines in place in neighborhoods across the state and across the country. But according to Arizona lawmakers, these same rules pose more obstacles than benefits when trying to buy your first home. Mostly because land is in low supply and priced high, and zoning skews it, so to recover costs, you need to build at the premium end. Keeping up with codes from HOAs and local governments isn't always the easiest, especially when it gets in the way of an easy solution for more units on one plot of land. A house the size of a two-bedroom apartment with a small yard is illegal to build in most places today, and about 70% of land in Arizona is exclusively for single-family homes. HB 2570 tackles these issues head on. The bill strikes down any minimum square footage requirements for a single-family home, as well as accessory structures on a plot of land, allowing for additional units to be constructed. The bill also calls for any municipality to not require HOAs, share neighborhood amenities, and no aesthetic requirements for your home, leaving all design choices choices solely to the owner. This opens the door for them to do this. I think this is going to be a complete game changer, not only in Arizona, but across the country. All right, now, despite bipartisan support in our state legislature, there's still some opposition to that plan. The League of Arizona Cities and Towns is an organization that opposes HB 2570, saying decisions like these should be left to communities for, to decide for themselves. We'll keep you updated both on air and online when Governor Hobbs either signs the bill or vetoes it. Lyman Studio, Andres Rendon, 13 News. All right.